This is Professor Darif Seitz. This Java tutorial focuses on array list. We have here a single class called Sentence, and this program will allow a user to type in a sentence and then allow the user to type in a word to delete from the sentence. In the comments up here at the top, there are some test cases. For example, this is a sentence, and the, the test case says delete the word sentence from that. Here's another test case with extra spaces introduced in the sentence, and delete the word this. And the last example here has several my words and delete all occurrences of my. To keep things simple here, punctuation is ignored and the only editing is to delete a word. We import the Java util array list package because we will be using an array list to store the words of the sentence and we also will need a scanner to accept the sentence and the word to delete from the user. An array list <clears throat> is an automatically expandable one-dimensional array of objects. Notice that it has to contain objects. So if you wanted to have primitive types you would have to use wrapper classes. For example, for an int, you would need to have integer wrapper classes because the array list deals with objects. And the key difference here between an array list and a regular array is that regular arrays are fixed in size at the time they're declared, whereas array lists are expandable. As you can add items to them, and they keep expanding. The mechanism to allow these lists to store different um, types of objects is called generics and uh, a synonym is parameterized types. That's where the data type of, that's in the list is declared at the time a client class declares and instantiates, instantiates an object of that type. We'll see that here <clears throat> in our main method. We are declaring an array list and the angle brackets there with string, that's the generics, the parameterized type is string, it will be an array list of string objects, object references. And we'll call this array list sentence with a prefix of list. We do a new array list with string over here. The compiler, um, or actually NetBeans here, is telling us there's a, a newer uh, syntax allowed where you don't have to put the string over here. You can just use the diamond operator without anything in it. <clears throat> so we get ourselves an array list here called list sentence. And then we're going to have a scanner. We call it scanner console because it's tied to system.in, the console, the command prompt. That's where we'll be getting the input from the user. The comment here says get a sentence and put each word into our array list. We print out enter a sentence without punctuation because we're going to ignore the punctuation to the user and we do a print line to do that because we want them on the next line to enter an entire sentence. So our, our next statement, we have a string called s sentence, the prefix s is for string, and it's going to be assigned our console scanner using the next line method or function to get whatever the user typed in, the sentence, 
will be put in as sentence. Then we're going to have another scanner called scanner sentence uh, and it will be tied to that string. So we'll now be using a scanner to parse the sentence. Our while loop here says while scanner sentence has next, while well, there's another token in the sentence, we'll take our list sentence, which is our array list, and add to it the scanner sentence next token with dot next here. So that takes the string sentence and gets every word and adds them one by one to the array list called list sentence. Now we're going to echo back the sentence back to the user but without any extra spaces. Remember the scanner when it's getting tokens ignores extra white space. So we say to the user your sentence minus extra spaces is and we use an enhanced for loop here declaring a, a string called sword that will be uh, going through each element of list sentence, each item. And with each one we will simply print it. Notice it's not a print line. It will be printed on the same line and then a space appended to the end of it. So as we're looping through each word they'll be going out one by one separated by a single space and then when the loop ends we'll do a print line to give us a blank line. Next, the comment says we're going to get the word that needs to be deleted from the sentence. So we do a print, enter a word to delete from the sentence with a greater than prompt uh, signaling the user to enter data. We get that with our console scanner, just doing a next, and we're going to store that in a string called delete word. Then we have a for loop. This for loop we use an index to go through our array list. Start with zero because just like arrays, array list also when you're indexing them it's a zero relative indexing and we increment i each time. So we're going to go through uh, so i is our index into our array list and then we have an if statement that says if list sentence get i returns the next item in the array list and we use equals ignore case because what was returned is a string because it's an array list of strings so we use equal ignores case and compare it to our to word to delete if it's equal then we're going to remove that item at index i and when we do that the array list, all the elements, after that shift down one position into that removed spot, so we have to adjust i down by one with an i minus minus decrement operator there. After we go through all the, all the words and delete all occurrences of our delete word, we're going to again echo the sentence back to the user with the enhanced for loop. This time it will have been edited to delete all occurrences of the, the word. So let's go to the top up here and take our first test case uh, right here. It says this is a sentence and we want to delete the word sentence from it. So we'll run the program and it says enter a sentence without punctuation. There's our sentence that we'll enter. It echoes it back to us. And it says enter a word to delete from the sentence. We'll enter the word sentence and hit enter. And then it says this is a and it deleted that word sentence. Let's run it again. Let's close our output window. This time we'll say this is 
this test case with all these extra spaces in it and we're going to want to delete the word this. <clears throat> we'll run it. Enter our sentence with the spaces. It echoes it back without the spaces, of course. And the word this is what we want to delete. And it deleted it. OK. In our last case, take this sentence here with all the my words in it. Run it. Echoes it back. And we want to delete all occurrences of my. And when that's complete, all that's left is in. Also, you're done. This completes uh, our focus on array list.